Okay, in this video, we're going to look at analog to digital converters, ADCs, and some of the different features that are available. Now, the Atmega 328P microcontroller, which is on Arduino Nano, has a 6-channel, 10-bit ADC on board, which has single-ended voltage inputs. Now, we're going to compare that to this ADC, which you see on the breadboard. It's an ADC0831, and it has differential voltage inputs. Now this ADC is only an 8-bit ADC, but you can get a 10-bit available from Maxim, a Max 159, or a 12-bit, a Max 145. And they both have differential voltage inputs. Okay, here's a block diagram of the ADC, which is inside that Mega 328P microcontroller, which is on board the Nano. That's pretty straightforward. The ADC is powered by 5 volts. There's our 5 volts in ground. And we tie the V-Ref to the 5 volts, the VCC. And our input is from 0 to 5 volts, and we feed that into VIN, which is a single-ended voltage input. So the 0 to 5 volts, this could be our sensor, which is feeding our ADC. Now as we vary the sensor from 0 to 5 volts into the VIN, we'll get an output ADC values of 0 to 1023. So we can see a little chart here. You can see the input from 0 to 5 volts We'll give an output ADC value of 0 to 1023. Now our problem comes, what about if our sensor only puts out a voltage from 2 volts to 3 volts? That's the total span. So we'll be wasting the resolution between 0 and 2 volts and between 3 and 5 volts. We'll be, we'll be wasting those bits, those steps, because the ADC will never go there. So how can we apply the full 10 bits, the full 1024 steps between the 2 volts and 3 volts? That's where we use differential voltage input ADC. Okay, here's our 8-bit ADC. That's our ADC0831, which has differential voltage input. And if you look at the circuitry, you can see three pots. Now this pot here will simulate my sensor, so I could vary 0 to 5 volts into the ADC. Now the other two pots, this one here, will adjust the V-Ref, so it's an external V-Ref adjust. And this pot here, I can adjust the voltage into one of the differential voltage inputs. Now by adjusting these three pots in a certain way, I can make it so whatever the voltage span is of my sensor, I could apply the full 8 bits, the full 256 steps across that voltage span. So I'll get the full resolution no matter what the output is of my sensor. Okay, here's the diagram of the ADC0831 circuitry, which is an 8-bit ADC with differential voltage input. And if we look at the block diagram, you can see it's powered by 5 volts, VCC and ground, and it has two inputs. One is labeled VIN plus, the other one is labeled VIN minus. Now these are the two differential voltage inputs. Now the sensor has an output span of 2 to 3 volts, and that's fed into the VIN plus. Now we apply an offset voltage of 2 volts to the VIN minus, and that sets the ADC minimum voltage to 2 volts. And we apply 1 volt to the V-Ref pin, which sets the ADC maximum voltage to 3 volts. So now our ADC is set up for a range of 2 to 3 volts with a maximum resolution of 8 bits. Now if we look at this chart, we can see the input voltage of 0 to 5 volts. And we start off with 0, we start increasing the voltage, our output ADC values would be zero until we hit the minimum value of two volts. As soon as we hit two volts, between two and three volts, we'll get our maximum ADC values from zero to 255. Then after three volts, it will max out at 255 to five volts. Okay, I have a digital voltmeter hooked up to my sensor, which has an output span of two to three volts, and that's input into the ADC. So right now on the screen, on the computer screen, that's the ADC value, it's zero, because I haven't hit my minimum voltage of two volts. So if I increase the input to two volts, we should start seeing some values. There we go there. So now I'm at two volts, now I'm going to hit up to three volts, which would be our, our maximum. And after three volts, it should, it should uh, max out at 255. So we're getting close. So there we go, 3 volts, and we're at 255. So we've done our span from 2 to 3 volts, and we've got our maximum resolution of 8 bits 
zero to two fifty five. And if I continue on past three volts, it's just maxed out at two fifty five. Okay, that was a little demonstration how to implement differential voltage input ADCs. So if you have a sensor that has an oddball output voltage range, you can just configure your ADC to match that range for maximum resolution output values.